Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're going to take a look at how to load objects into the map through the default items XML. This is going to be mods created by people, whoever that might be, um, that you want to have preloaded into your maps uh, so you don't have to purchase them in game. Uh, but it means that you can do this by loading them in through the default items XML and they won't then be integrated into your map. Um, so <clears throat> they would need to be separate in your mod folder uh, and then that would give well possibly two two advantages one you will start off in a new game save with the mod already in the map so you can get a bit of a head start with certain certain functionality um, but it also will mean that the mod is in the mod folder so as a placeable it will still be purchasable in game and then you could place it anywhere else that you wanted additional ones so I'm going to open up my sample mod map here for Felsbrun. <clears throat> and I've already um, imported this a couple of times just to get an idea of, a, of where I want to put it. And I've leveled out the terrain slightly just to give me an area. So I'm going to put it here. This is actually the global company seed maker that I'm going to be working with. Uh, so what I want to do is import the actual mod. So it would need to be in its extracted form um, in a separate folder like this not the zipped up version. I've got that in the mod folder. And then <clears throat> what we will do is just import this in. So we'll go file import. As you can see, I've already been in there a couple of times, but just make sure you're in the right folder. So we'll go back to the desktop, open up the folder here for the global company seed maker, double click on the I3D, which will spawn it in at the zero position. So we're going to go control B and then click for interactive placement. I'll rotate it on the Y axis just so it's pointing in the right direction for me. And then we'll just kind of put it somewhere like that. That'll be fine. Didn't really matter for this, just to give you an idea of how this is all going to work. Uh, you need to have an idea of where everything's going to be located on the mod that you're going to be working with. And this theoretically would work for any kind of placeable mod, not necessarily specific to global company, but I just wanted to work with this one because it's new and shiny. <laughs> so um, have a look at what the mod has got to offer. This is going to be a palette spawn point, so you want to make sure you've got enough room for all of that to work. And then your inputs and outputs, make sure you've got enough room to get around them um, and put your product in and take your product out. <clears throat> so once you're happy with the placement and the terrain is all where you need it to be in um, level and whatever else, and you've got no floaty bits and whatever, <clears throat> don't leave this in the mod, in the actual mod map or map or whatever else. Uh, we're just importing this in to get our attributes that we can then put into the default items XML. So what I'm going to do then is go back into the map folder here, default items XML, we'll open this up. And then down the bottom, I'm going to create a couple of lines just to separate everything. We need to <clears throat> set this up with a specific class name. So we don't want to be working with map bound IDs. We just want to be working with the placeable stuff. So I'm just going to take a copy of one that's already there and we'll adjust it accordingly. So we'll just copy and paste that into there like so. The class name for the global company placeable system is slightly different, uh, but if it's just a standard placeable, like a barn shed or something like that, it would just be placeable as you can see here for the farm building and whatever. So make sure you set your class name up correctly for whatever placeable you're going to be working with. In this particular case, because again, as I say, it's a <clears throat> global company placeable, the actual class name is going to be <clears throat> this one here, the global company underscore production factory placeable. So I'm going to make a copy of that name there. And we'll overwrite this one as so. <clears throat> My file name I'm going to set up in a little minute. So we'll just do the position and rotation first. So coming back to giant editor, I'm going to click in my translate X over here, left shift, left control and C to copy all three translate X, Y and Z. Now we're going to come back over to the XML. I'm going to highlight the position attributes here and then control and V and that will paste them all in. They may not look exactly the same as what you've got in the giant setter because it adds all of the extra numbers on the end and doesn't round things up like the giant setter does, but that will work perfectly fine if you want to round them up and have the attributes exactly like they are in the giant setter by always adjust them accordingly. But uh, as I say, this is perfectly fine. They will work. No problems. And I know I've got a 90, ro 90 degree rotation on my Y, so I'm just going to change that manually like so. The default farm property attribute here at true will mean that it's only available in new farmer mode. 
If you change this to false, it will be available in File Manager and in Start From Scratch. So change that attribute from true to false or false to true for whatever purpose that you want to actually get out of it. So if it's a particular placeable that you want available in all farmer modes, then set that to false. If it's something you only want available in new farmer mode, leave it as true. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to adjust my file name. So if we actually look at where this particular mod would be placed, um, this is going to be in our mod folder. So we need to direct the default items XML to our mod directory, our mod folder, and then the actual XML itself. So it's going to be in this particular folder, the zipped version of this folder, but it's going to be looking for the name of the zipped folder. So what I'm going to do is just take the entire name from there and make a copy of it. Come back to our <clears throat> default items XML. What I'm going to do is just basically overwrite all of this. So I'm going to do dollar mod dir and then dollar. So this will be our mod directory. And then the name of the folder with no forward slash. So it's going to be mod directory and then FS19 underscore global company placeable underscore seed maker. <clears throat> and then we actually want the name of the XML that it's going to look for. So which is this one here, seed maker. So we'll make a copy of that. Come back to the XML here and we put our forward slash and then paste that in <clears throat> like so. And the game will then load up the default items XML only on a new game save. And it will look down the list, get to this part, look in the mod directory, and then in this particular folder, which again will be our zipped folder in our mod folder, and then look for our XML <clears throat> of seedmaker.xml in this particular case, and then spawn the actual item in at the position and rotation set here by the default items XML. Fantastic. So <clears throat> now we've got all of that set up. We no longer require it in the map because again, this is going to be working around the placeable system. So it's only brought into the map so we can position it and get the correct attributes set up um, and whatever else by its size and where all the triggers are going to posi be positioned so we can get to them correctly and whatever else. So once we're happy with where it's located and we've updated the default items XML, we remove it from the map. Do not leave it in the map. Okay, interesting. Had two. Don't know why. Must have imported it twice. Whatever. It's gone now. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and save the map. <clears throat> now, because I've changed the terrain a little bit and messed around, I've saved the map. But if you've not had to change anything in the map itself, there's no particular reason why you would need to uh, save it. Just exit out. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So uh, what we would do then is take our map folder and put that in our mods mods uh, mods folder. So if I go into here, and then as you can see, I've already got the actual global company base script and then the actual global company seed maker zipped versions in my mod folder. And then when we go into game, we can see that uh, it will spawn in where I've set it up via the default items XML. Now I've got mine, as you could see there, set up so that it will only show up in new farmer mode. But uh, as I said before, if you set the attribute default farm property to false, it will then be available in farm manager and start from scratch as well. And this will be for, I would probably say, almost any placeable mod that you wanted to set up so that it spawned into the map at the start of a new game save, like you can see what we've got here. Um, and this just gives you a couple of different advantages. Uh, you could then position this inside of a barn or shed or something like that. It wouldn't necessarily need to be outside because the placeable mechanic will not allow you to do that. Um, I don't know if the uh, place any anywhere mod would allow you to um, get around that by actually putting it inside a barn. I don't think it would. Um, it would allow you to get somewhat closer to certain areas, but uh, I don't think it would allow you to actually place it inside of a shed or a barn. But by doing it this way, it will. So you could actually put a barn or shed on the map through Giant Serta and then have your um, mod spawn into the inside the barn. Um, 
and as I say then you would be able to set it up in whatever mode you wanted to so if you only wanted access to this through the default uh, through 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 um, new file mode then you could do so um, but alternatively you could set it up where it would be available in all file modes um, and then yeah you could have perhaps maybe a bit of a head start and create your own seeds right off the bat um, instead of having to purchase it in game and uh, place it that way instead. I'm Show Wizard. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.